Thank you, Dean. Just want. Just <laughs> kidding! <laughs> what? Ah! Abilene! Woo! <laughs> See if we can start one of those claps. Ready? No one else has tuned in yet, so <laughs> that's good stuff. Hold on, I gotta go to my Facebook page and share it. Ready? Wait, so if you wait, go wait, to your no, Facebook you page, you no, wait, you wait. You hold wait. on, Hang I'm on. doing this. Like no, I clicked on it right here, and then I'm scrolling down. No, I'm going. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep those wild ones scrolling. We're all hide. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Let's go. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Let's go. I'm gonna put howdy since I'm doing that. Bam! I shared it faster than you. So what's up, Adam? How you been, homie? What's up, Robert? Thanks for welcoming me back. I couldn't be here last week. He didn't miss you, but that's okay. I was under the weather. Just no. a little bit. No. Yeah, no, I was under the weather. Oh. Yeah, no, I was. He was playing hooky. I was not playing mm -hmm. hooky. Nope. Not gonna do it. Wouldn't be prudent. So excited, pumped up, jacked up, fired up, mm -hmm. ready to do this thing. We had an amazing turnout this Sunday! Oh. I'm a little excited this morning. It's afternoon, sorry. It's, uh, evening. It's been a long day, man. Last day of the month in the car business, bro. It's just a lot. What's up, Nikita? What's your mother in law say what's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. Just randomly. I did catch myself at work doing that today. There was a lady who had been in before and I had seen her and randomly I was doing this and I realized that looks ridiculous especially because I'm in like a little glass box and it's like they won't let me out of my glass box and all of a sudden I'm just like I really <laughs> needed to wave to people to be seen how you been <laughs> look if I do this I just need to know I'm skinnier <laughs> than if I do this <laughs> I just need to know at what point during the day did you drink your um, bang? Bang today. Two o'clock, <clears throat> like every day. Two mm. o'clock on the dot. See, I'm thinking it was about 30 minutes ago. No, that's why right now I'm drinking mm -hmm. a sparkling ice. By yeah. the way, no. this segment is brought to you in part by sparkling ice. Zero sugar with 70 grams of caffeine. Just in case we didn't get enough of that, my coffee is also brought to you in part by Lawrence Hall Chevrolet, 1385 South Danville. Ah. Just so you know, when the products are similar, the dealer makes the difference. So, in case I don't have enough caffeine, I brought extra. <laughs> nice. So, how about you, man? Nice. I've been doing great. Good. Had a good day. Hey, Angela. Have had a good, great Hey, Danny. Hey, yeah, Chris. Hey, so, let's go back up. So, it's... Hey, Vera. Jody. Hey, Angela. Julio. Hey, Angela. Hey, Jody. Vera. Hey, Vera. Chris. Hey, Danny. Nikita. Hey, Chris. Hey, Nikita. Danny. Good to hey, see guys. you guys. What's up? So, man, how you been? How's your week been? So, yeah. You had a good week? I've had a good week. Great. I've been working on laying out one job for nice. three days. Well, I saw the plans, or part of the plans yesterday, and thought to myself, that's why I don't do cabinets. Yes. And I saw someone else today that posted, any cabinet you want, $40. And I thought, <laughs> and that's why Adam Edwards is my cabinet guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know that I trust that yeah, cabinet guy. Exactly. Anyway. So, yeah. But man, we, we, I've had a good week too. It's yeah. been good. It's been good End of the stuff. month for you. So End you've of the been month. rolling today, Yes. Right? So yeah. all week long, it's been push, yeah. push, push. Uh, so just getting people taken care of, making sure people are getting the cars they need. And taking care of business, so it's been good, man. It's been really good. So, so let's go back because because you said we had an awesome Sunday, and then you like went sorry completely left Squirrel. on everybody. Squirrel. Yeah. Uh, but, by the way, if oh. you happen to be at church and you get one of our bands, our Connect Church, they're only a dollar. You can wear them inside out, and on the inside it says "on purpose for a purpose." Is they born on purpose? <laughs> Yes, it does. It says born on purpose, for a purpose. So it's double functioning. So I, I did have somebody the other day come up to me and go, hey, y'all are sneaky. I said, what are you talking yeah. about? He's like, well, I saw on the inside of the wristband mm -hmm. that you had the, I was like, well, yeah. And then one day I had it on and I was pushing down too much. And I was like, man, it's sticking. And I moved it and it said, per, per, <laughs> perfect, 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 I got you. On it, so it was yeah. cool. So yeah, I had a great turnout Sunday. Man, worship was phenomenal. Got oh, to dedicate some 
Babies, hello, Kelly Jones. Six kids got dedicated. 100%. That was awesome. It was. Sitting in the back, uh, and I had someone else tell me this, when everybody was up front um, and all the, the kids we were had our, with them, oh, okay. that was just like, I almost started crying. I was like, look at that. It was just so sweet. I was feeling the clumped. It was awesome. Did you almost start crying? No. Is it good? I am right now because. Yeah, you're eating those airhead sours. Mm -hmm. That's not a good sour. Those things give me indigestion. Uh, To answer you on the hoodies, they should be coming in sometime between now and when they get there. Um, (laughs) I don't know when that's going to be. Oh, we like is getting them. Yeah. So we have them designed and all that good stuff. (laughs) Hey, Antonio. Uh, so anyways, it's good stuff. Yeah, but the hoodie should be in here pretty quick um, sometime between now and then. Uh, so, got a lot of really cool stuff uh, coming up the next few weeks. You've been on the I'm Connected series. Uh, part we have three hundred. before we move to that, okay. Let's keep that thought. And here's because, uh, <laughs> yes. So I want to know if anybody that is watching, because we had, we had prayer Sunday. God laid something on my heart to pray for people. Yes. That... Um, had needed physical, physical needed physical healing, and I think we only had three people left in their seats, um, so it was crowded up by the stage. Um, but I want to know if anybody received their healing. Perfect. So if you're out there and you did, let us know. Let us know what it was. Yeah, just so, throw it out in the yeah. in the comment section. So, yeah. Um, and we yeah. did have some difficulty, technical difficulty Sunday, <laughs> so it didn't get, and we didn't even really get it recorded. So, yep. But we'll be back this Sunday. Well, and the good thing is, <laughs> God always knows what he's doing. Amen. So there had to be a reason. Amen. So hello, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Sarah. Hey. Hi, guys. Um, hey. I can't wait to we have like church service since we two. Did. You're telling me? I've been trying to talk about church service for about six minutes. It was awesome. Uh, so, was yeah, no, it was really good. So you've been on the I'm Connected part uh, of the series and the Fruit of the Spirit Relations um, but this last week we were on the baby dedication mm-hmm. and did you get to any of the fruit of the spirit? Nope. No, because we had the prayer. I know. Whoa. Come on. I'm going to need you to calm that, down. We had the You're prayer. Here. Like, I need you here. Yeah. So the prayer happened in the healing part, but the baby yes. dedication was really cool. It was kind of like a sermon. Yes, it was. You can get pumped. Just you told me to bring it. Well, it was the. You told me to bring it. it that you can't not your tone. Then, it's your sensitivity. I'm gonna need you to buck up. I'm gonna need you to be a man. Okay, look at me. You look at All me. Right, oh. Just so everybody knows, that was uncalled for. Yes, you told me to buck up and be a man. Okay, so son, what what were we talking about? My feelings. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We were talking about the service and the baby dedication part and how yes. that really was a sermon. Um, and so what were the key points that you brought up during the baby dedication as mm-hmm. far as with the kiddos and the responsibility of the church? This is me. I'm leading you through. You're leading me through. I'm leading you to Shut it. Out of here. Sorry, you don't have to lead too far. All right. Yeah. So in James 1, <laughs> uh, one of the first things that Pastor Adam talked about was how... Uh, your children uh, are a gift and sorry, your children are a gift from God. Absolutely. And I loved the way that you kind of put that when you don't always feel <laughs> that way. You know, to be real. Come on, Jesus. Uh, but at the end of the day, man, each and every one of our kids are a... Um, what am I trying to say? Each and every one of our kids is a gift from God Absolutely. Uh, for us. So you being someone that has three kiddos... Uh, from Bailey all the way down to Aaron and yes. Emily squished in the middle. Right in the middle. Um, how, how, when do you think you fully understood that they were a gift to you? Was it from day one or do you think it, so, <laughs> 24 years later? <laughs> yeah. uh, when, when was it when you really kind of started to say, you know what, my kids are um, more than just my offspring. They're a gift from God. So honestly, it was, it was kind of when my relationship with God got stronger. Okay. And when you was know, that? Because, what time frame? Because early on, Early on, like when we had Bailey, so we were young. I just turned 21. Farah turned 20 just after Bailey was born. And so, um, you know, I had anger issues. I was I was not, I mean, I was a good dad, but I did have anger issues at yeah. the time um, and things. So, you know, I had to grow my relationship. I had to mature in God uh, quite a bit before I actually started seeing my kids as blessings. Um, for me, and, they, and yeah. this, just, just to be honest, because... 
at that young of an age, you know, I, we weren't expecting to have kids. Yeah. And, you know, it kind of put a hardship because I didn't, I didn't make a lot of money at the time, you know, and I know that's a, that's a big deal is raising kids is having money. Um, but, you know, we, we were faithful with what we had and God was a blessing, was a blessing to us. Um, and, you know, probably I'm going to say, I'm going to say probably we got through Bible college. And you Bailey know, would have been about how old? So we were in, when we were at. Bailey's his oldest. Uh, yeah, Bailey's my oldest. Bailey is uh, 23 right now. Um, yeah. I don't know. Right, Bailey was probably about seven. Okay. Whenever I really started understanding, you know, started coaching. I started coaching him um, in different sports and things at that young age. Uh, he played soccer when he was younger, uh, which he's a really good soccer player at that age until he got big. He's massive. Um, yeah, and he's not really a good soccer player anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, probably those times when you started doing things for your kids like that instead of not just feeding them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not just feeding so them. So would you so, say when that, that would be when it became less about Adam? Probably. And became more about Adam's family? Probably so. I, I'm I, doing I, this I would, I'm yes, chopping up an onion <laughs> and I'm putting it in the stew. Chris uh, Chastain, I'm sorry. Uh, he's fine. Uh, Alan asked what's <laughs> up with the violence. He said earlier he had anger issues. Uh, <laughs> I was I was just I was working through something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, working thanks, through thanks. something, Alan. Yeah, my chiropractor thanks you. Um, You're welcome. So, <laughs> in that, when when was that? Do you, so you would agree that it was when it became less about you and more about your family, if that makes any sense. Like your relationship with God and being more absolutely more focused in on the unity of your entire family. Yes. Okay. So. We're well, where are you going with it? Because I'm going to fast forward. Okay. So okay. we're going to fast forward, and we're going to go to Aaron, who is your youngest. Mm. Aaron's 11, right? Uh, be 12. Next um, month. This month. Saturday. Yeah. So he's coming up being 12. So mm -hmm. the transitional time between your oldest, your middle, and then your youngest, as far as understanding the gift who they are, mm -hmm. how do you feel that was when you had Aaron 11 years ago as opposed to Bailey 23 years ago? I know it's a tough question, and it's not playing favorites, Bailey. It's not playing so, favorites. So Aaron came along. Aaron came along when I had stepped out of ministry. Okay, and really had lost my purpose. Okay, and Aaron, when he was really, really young, uh, that was a time in, in my life when I went through some depression for stepping out of ministry, stepping out of my purpose that God had for me, not fulfilling anything in my life. I had stepped out of that, and because of that. Um, I hit some depression yeah. and some different things in my life. And Aaron at the young age, um, you know, even before he was one, um, really helped keep me grounded. Yeah. You know, when you have one that young, um, that they, that, you know, just the love that they have. And so from that age, Aaron always kept me grounded, um, kind of pulled me out of depression at certain times because of the love that he had. Just, you know, you walk in and you love your toddler. You yeah. know what I mean? Here I am, dad. You know what I mean? So that was, it was a lot different at that time with Aaron. And then, you know, as we moved on and, and really started, you know, got out of that depression and, and got back with God and got back doing the things we needed to do. Um, and it's different because we're a little older uh -huh. now, you know. Just a little. Mm. Yeah, so, so you're older. So that, that side of things, it was different with Aaron. Number one, you had matured. Correct? Why yes. are you doing this? My hands. <laughs> Number one, you had I didn't like Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do with my hands. Uh, so, when, uh, when you progressed on and, and you were Aaron, you were definitely at a different stage yes. in your life. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, and I'm just going to talk from my standpoint yeah, go ahead. with my situation. It's totally different. And, and maybe this is for the people out there that you don't have any biological children. Uh, because I know a lot of times, you know, there was uh, several years, me and my wife have been married 11 years, we don't have any quote-unquote biological children. But during that time frame of my life, even, and Amanda's, uh, I was a foster parent for eight and a half years, and my wife also was a foster parent. And so there's a lot of kiddos that I've had an influence in their life and an impact or been a father figure in their yes. life. And with that aspect, you know, as as you're growing through it, you really didn't understand what was going on. I just thought I was helping out kids because, mm. you know, the Bible says to take care of widows and orphans in their distress. 
and I felt called to that side of it. Um, even going to Mexico, there was an orphanage that we used to go to in Mexico called Esperanza por Mañana, which meant hope for tomorrow. And even in that aspect, just going beyond just America, but going to Mexico and doing it. And so I just thought all I'm doing is taking care of kids. But what I realized is even during those times, God was preparing me for what would later to come uh, that was unexpected and unplanned, which would be the passing of my sister mm -hmm. and me and Amanda taking in my two nephews, uh, my boys, uh, Brandon and Dylan. And when that happened, you know, so many people have said, well, that was just a big deal. And sure, it's, it's a big deal. But I think it was easier for us because God was preparing us right. for that many years ago without even us understanding. Sure, we were able to do something that the Bible commissions us to do, which is take care of orphans. But more importantly, he was conditioning our heart to be able to love a child in the way that a child needs to be loved without them being flesh and blood. Yeah. And if we could do it with a kiddo that wasn't flesh and blood, then how much easier was it with a kid that wasn't well, flesh absolutely. and blood? And yeah. so sometimes I know being being even single or being, because I was single till I was 26, or being non-married or being married without kids, you know, you feel like you get lost on those baby dedications and different things. But I want to challenge you that one of the purposes of dedicating a child is dedicating that child to the Lord and then having the support of the people in the church to support you in raising that child up. It's just yeah. like in Proverbs says, it says, train your child in the way that they should go. And when they're older, they won't depart. That takes everybody. That takes from a door greeter. It takes someone who works the connect spot, somebody working in kids church an usher, a greeter, whatever position in the church, Somebody who sits by him on Sunday and notices that a single mom's having a hard time with her kiddo and just trying to make the kid smile or whatever it is, that's a part of being that training up of that child to help uh, in the raising. Not that, you know, I'm not going to correct somebody's kid and be like, hey, sit there, you need to be quiet. I would. You know, I know yeah. you would. Uh, and I do Maybe it at Walmart. Not. Yeah, yeah, yeah Walmart. Definitely at Walmart. Um, at church, really. Amanda gets on to me, and I've, I've gotten so much better, but I used to be real bad. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw a kid acting up at Walmart, I'd snap my finger and say, what'd your mama just tell you? Uh, and I may still have a little bit of that in me. Uh, ask Brayson and Emelina. Uh, so <laughs> anyways, make a long story short, don't feel like just because you don't have a kiddo or maybe your kids are older or you're in the single aspect that you're not a key component to what God wants to do in kids' lives and what God wants to do in parents' lives yeah. with understanding they don't have to do this thing alone. Which is the purpose uh, of Connect Church? One of the purposes, correct? Yes. You get you feed your feedback is amazing. Uh, is amazing. I brought it, I brought it down, JB. You did. I brought it down. Just like a yes. half a notch. Half a notch. Half a okay. notch back up. So, uh, uh, but wouldn't <coughs> wouldn't you agree? <coughs> wouldn't you agree <laughs> that that's something that's important? <laughs> what what is important? <laughs> <laughs> The people in the church being there. Uh, oh, yes, absolutely. No, and that's one thing that every time we have a baby. There you go. Every time we have a baby dedication, you know, we always talk to the congregation too because, um, you know, the, the saying that it takes a village to raise a child is really true, um, especially in today's time and age. Yeah. Um, with, with everything going on. Um, yeah, you know, so purpose is a big thing. And one thing we need to realize as parents is that. You know, God gave you a child for a purpose, mm -hmm. and you you have uh, a purpose in your life. But the thing that we need to be instilling in our kids from a very young age <clears throat> is that they have a purpose. Yes, and that God wants to use them. You know, I talk about my <clears throat> about Aaron. You know, he's eleven, going on twelve, and um, he still gets up on Sunday mornings. Um, gets ready and goes and helps set the church up. Chris Chastain, thank you, Chris, comes by and picks him up. Um, and he goes with Chris to help set up the church in the morning. He has a purpose. And then he serves in the children's department. He does different things in the nursery and, and, and the um, I think the three-year-old class. And so he has a purpose. He's being fulfilled. Um, and, and God's just faithful to him in the things that, that he wants and the things that he does because he's faithful to God. And so I would say, as, as everybody out there watching, if you've got kids, let them find their purpose in church. Mm -hmm. You know, their purpose is not just to sit there Sunday yeah. morning. Their purpose is to help the ministry. 
Um, and if the, as they learn that as a, as a young child and, and start to grow older, <clears throat> they won't depart from that. They'll continue to serve. They'll continue to give. They'll continue to... to and I think uh, it's so important that we allow our kids to serve beside us. 100%. It's not that this is what mom and dad do, and then what do I do? I guess I just go to, go to children's church and enjoy it. Yay. It's the part of them serving beside you. And, and I think our yes. usher team does, it, does, and I'm just using them because I see them more than I see uh, the other teams. But our usher team does a, a phenomenal job with that. Uh, our head ushers, Josh Audrey and then uh, Bob Jones, you know, their kids are in there yes. with them serving, setting up. Uh, you know, Josh is funny because, you know, he can kind of boss KJ around and, and then KJ can mm-hmm. that except say, yes, sir. Uh, and so watching KJ kind of do that and then Adam and, and Andy and, and the whole family just mm-hmm. coming in to, to have that heart of servanthood, it's amazing how much closer families become. My boys, you know, I mean, we get there yeah. early. My boys are there. Dylan, do the nursery. Brandon, go outside and start setting up the outside. And then whatever needs to be done in between. Um, and so with that, uh, you even look at, you know, Ashley was well, setting was up, up say, the, yeah. the, the kids there. Selena or, and uh, Sophia. Yeah, yeah, Selena and Sophia setting up. You know, the coffee that you guys enjoy, the water, the tea, yeah. the donuts, you know, that. And then Hope bringing her two kiddos along with mm-hmm. her, uh, you know, Nathan and Courtney. And so you just see this attitude that's taking place in this uh, this progressiveness where they're learning how to serve the local church. And through that servanthood, they're getting closer with their parents while getting closer to God. And I think it's one of the one of the greater things that you can, can see, which is great because, you know, there's many opportunities within Connect Church to serve. Um, and that's one of the things I believe Pastor Adam's going to be talking about in the next two couple of weeks coming up. Uh, there are some different areas because it's important, uh, like the inside of the bracelet says, you were born on purpose for a purpose. And it's important that we, as a church, come alongside you to help you discover what that purpose is in your life. Um, and so we want to do that. We want to help you guys. And that being said, yeah, this coming Sunday, we have a Next Steps class. 100%. Um, and what is sh- Next Steps? Well, Next Sorry. Steps, right now, you're good. Um, so we just share more about what the church is, how we were founded, um, the principles that we stand on, um, core values that we have, uh, just more information about the church, um, and that'll be at, at from from one to three here at the office there at the office at nine ten South Treadway, and you know anybody out there come to church and then you know come to Next Steps if you haven't come to it, find out more about the church, find your purpose, and that's that's the whole thing about Next Steps is to find purpose because we lead into all the areas that you could serve in if you wanted to. So Exactly. And there's so much freedom in that servanthood side of things that you'll discover for your life through serving other people. Oh, I didn't put the poll up. What was the poll? I have a poll. You want to do it for next week? No, okay. no I want to do it right now. Okay. So everybody watching. Everybody watch. Hold yeah. on. He's going to, you got to go up here and type. You can't. Oh, you've already created it. Oh. No. Do y'all see the poll? Oh, is it up? Did I can... No, it's going, right? Yeah, it's, it's going. Up. No. 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 <laughs> no. Can y'all see it? Reopen poll. There we go. Show results in video. That's what I put. You're, it just popped up. No, see, it closes. Reopen. You're right. Hit reopen. Yeah. Sorry. So, that's all right. Here it is. There you go. Should JB grow his hair out? Let me just let you Yes. Know. A maybe, I never want to see that. And then this is my favorite. Didn't know JB could grow hair. <laughs> I can. It looks very mangy. Uh, so I'm gonna no go one vote wants to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna go vote. All right, so y'all get your poll answers in. In the meantime, what we're gonna do is Christie's Comedy Corner. How oh, the crowd goes crazy. Hello, Christie. Hello. Come on in. You're the next contestant. Hello, Christie. Hello. Have y'all ever played quiet tennis? I hear it's a racket. No, it's like normal <laughs> tennis, but no racket. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Okay. Ooh, I got another. Leather armor is the best for sneaking because it's literally made out of hide. <laughs> you don't like that one? What was that one? Hold on, come back, come back. Don't leave so early. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> I didn't get it. Leather Debbie didn't get it. Armor Leather armor is the best for sneaking. Is the best for sneaking because it's literally made out of hide. Because it's literally made out of hide. Good job. <laughs> I mean, that's a solid three. 
It's a good one. I did give her a ten, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't in any of these. So grow out your hair. No. Yes. Yes. No. It's not happening. Grow it out. Nope. Yes. Didn't know JB could grow hair. That's the same as a no. <laughs> Uh, uh, look at look at your mother-in-law being nice to you, Adam. You have been a blessing to our family. I am blessed uh, with that. My daughter married you. That's a double blessing. She's blessed. Then too. Bailey came along. <laughs> Sorry, hit Seymour so we can hear someone be nice to you for once. Uh, <laughs> then Bailey came yeah. along. Oh yeah. my! How I have triple blessings when Emily and Aaron. Four blessings, and she is working on her blessings. And then, oh, it moved. It moved. There you go. All right, all right. And then Aaron is our fifth oh, blessing. I rough. thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that I have more than these blessings. I am so thankful to be a blessed woman. Thank you, Jesus. Look at him. Amen. She's being nice to you. She is being nice to me. Yeah. She. You didn't hang around her a lot. She didn't know you real well, or she knows me. Oh, I just wonder why she's Got being it. nice then. Uh, what else did they say? Danny, which means Vera, because yeah. Danny would grow say, it. don't grow it, it. No, Danny said, no, Danny would say, grow it. Danny? Yeah. That's because he has yeah. hair. I know. I don't have hair. Well, that's because we didn't know you could grow it. Okay. I can't grow it. If you want, go to my Facebook and you'll see what JB looked like with creepy hair. <laughs> it's not good. So you actually had hair when you started coming. I did. One Sunday, I had hair. And the next Sunday, I shaved it. Uh, so let's see here. 69 didn't know. Yeah. It's a no. Yeah. 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 Didn't know JB could grow. Nope. Yeah. So, you know, nope. that's, I don't know that that's actually a no. I think that's a, wow, he can grow it. Maybe he needs to. No. It's like, no, didn't, didn't know. <laughs> no. Never want to see that. Uh, <laughs> give him a wig. <laughs> yes. You just never know, Robert. Oh, you just never know. Awesome. So anyways, man, I hope you guys found this time to be uh, fulfilling and uplifting Man, I hope you just had a better day. Uh, hopefully, we can provide a little joy to you, being a little goofy, but provide a little word to you. Absolutely, and kind of share a little bit. But you know, we just want you guys to know that you were Thank born. You, Tommy. you were, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, Slick. Uh, we just want you to know that you were born on purpose for a purpose. And remember that Jesus loves you, and we love you too. All right, we'll see you guys when? this Sunday. When? This Sunday. This Sunday. 10:30 a.m. 201 Mesquite. Why? Because you were born on purpose for a purpose. Yeah. And we're going to help you discover that purpose through finding freedom in Jesus Christ. Are you ready? I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> I'm good. Bye guys. Go. <laughs> see you guys. Toodles.